Hey Ashley, I am so, so excited that you graduated and somehow managed to do it a semester early. I don't know how you did that, but thanks for being one of the coolest people that I've ever known. You have, you are the best road trip partner. You, we have the broadest conversations that span almost every topic. Our field trips, we always pack 10 times too much food and you just make life um, so much more of an adventure. And I just uh, have loved being your friend for all these years. Um, congratulations on graduating, and I am so, so excited to see where you go next. Hi, Ashley. Um, I've really enjoyed getting to spend time with you over these past three years. Um, I've really enjoyed braiding your hair all the time and just all the conversations that we've had doing that and all the silence, because we're cool with the silence too. Um, I'd say one of my favorite memories was when you allowed me to tag along with you to babysit those quadruplets. Still one of my most ama amazing memories. Um, but yeah, congrats on graduating. So happy for you and your future. Hi, Ashley. You've had such a huge impact on me. Um, I'm so glad that God shoved us together and that I got to be your roommate. Um, I really, really miss our late night conversations and all of the times that we were just both in the same place and ranting about whatever in life. Um, it's just not the same talking to Alan late at night as it is with you. And you are the most positive, level-headed and loyal friend that I've ever had. I know you're gonna do amazing things and I can't wait to be there with you through it all and whatever God has in store for you. Hi, Ashley. Um, thank you for being a great friend um, and I admire your work ethic, um, your selflessness, and how much you love people and care about people, and how much you love God, and um, best wishes for the world. Hey, Ashley. I want to say thank you to Rachel for bringing us together in our nice Bible study that we had last year. It was really great to meet you and really get to know you during that time. I've missed that you haven't been here this last semester. It's really forced me to make new friends and you know I don't like doing that, so. But I do miss you and I really hope you come back to visit. Don't forget, I'll be moving, but I can still send you my address. It's still in Rolla. You have all sorts of friends you should come and see anyways. So just don't forget us, love you, and congratulations. Hey Brooke! Hi, Brooke. <laughs> Brooke, I'm gonna miss living with you and I'm gonna miss your goofiness and your silliness and I hope everything goes really well for you and the best of luck to you. I am so excited for you to be my future sister-in-law and I'm definitely looking forward to definitely looking forward to more shopping and getting coffee with you and being goofy all the time, especially Ron Paul. <laughs> Congratulations, Brooke. I'm going to miss constantly being on edge while living with you, waiting for the next time I wake up from a nap with half of my face covered in soap. Congrats, Brooke. I'm gonna miss you and all of our shenanigans in apartment one and with the marble war and I don't even know, like just being goofy. <laughs> Brooke, you're stuck with me. Um, you're my best friend and you've been my roommate for the last two and a half years and my study buddy because we literally do everything together, including the same major and the same house and I just don't know what I would do without you. Brooke, I can't believe we're graduating. Um, you, out of anyone, has, have earned this degree. Um, you are one of the hardest working people I know, and you just do everything to the best of your ability, and that has definitely been true of your time at SNT. Um, I truly value your friendship and the time that we spent together, and I know that God will use you in amazing ways. In honor of Brooke, we're going to all make a Brooke noise. Brooke! <laughs> You know, Dan, from the first time I moved into the mountain and met you and saw that you were going to be rooming with me for the next year, I wasn't sure I'd like you. But I can clearly see now that I was very mistaken. I will always remember our long conversations into the night where we'd talk about anything and everything. I'm so glad I've had the privilege of seeing how God has molded you into the man that you've become today and I pray that he continues to guide you through whatever trials you may go on to face and just remember to always be following him. 
Daniel, you're my hero. Good luck, buddy. Shake and bake. <laughs> hey, Deidre. Congrats on graduating. It's been a lot that we've been friends all these years, and uh, really excited to see that you're getting your master's. Congrats. Congrats, Deidre. You made it. Graduation. It's pretty hype. Um, we've seen lots of our friends graduate already, and now you and Jack are both going to leave me. So I don't know what I'm doing next semester, but like I said, congratulations. You did the thing. It's been so great getting to live with you these past however many semesters we've been roommates and getting to know and love all of the different sides of Daedra. Um, unfortunately for you, you're staying for your masters, so you're stuck with me and my cat for another semester. But congratulations on your undergrad. Love you, Daedra. Hey, Daedra. Future me is recording this because past me read too many books. It's been great going on all our hiking and camping adventures together. You may be the scary senior now, but I'll always remember the freshman Daedra climbing on top of the playground. Congrats on graduating. Welcome to the black hole that is grad school. Oops. What's up, Ethan? We got some two times spicy ramen. Finally doing it. You're graduating. It's been such a pleasure to have you in the house. To have you introduce us to wonderful cuisine like spicy ramen. Really glad that you're, you're graduating. Not that you're leaving, but I'm excited for your future and whatever God makes it look like. Golly, this is so hot. It's good stuff. Um, we know you're going to do great. Buddy, uh, I'm, I'm really excited what God has planned for you. And I really just you know, hope you take full advantage of what he, he has planned for you. And, and as long as you follow what he has planned, you can't go wrong. So um, cheers to you, buddy. And um, it's been a pleasure and so much fun living with you for multiple semesters. So. Have another bag of spicy ramen for us. See you, brother. Hey, Ethan, thanks for your words of wisdom and good insight. We appreciate your discernment. Thank you. Thanks for always being an amazing friend and always being there for us. You make crew awesome. You're the first person I contact after a Mandalorian episode and the only person I know willing to watch a two-hour movie when a report's due in one. <laughs> Ethan, congratulations. Happy birthday! Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. No, no, graduation. Happy graduation! Congratulations, Jack. You're graduating. It's been such a pleasure to get to know you better and see you progress through your school career. We've shared so many memories, like ice skating in Fayetteville, and I can't wait to share more. Anyway, congratulations. You're awesome. Well, dang it, Jack. You're going to graduate, leave me, get married. It's pretty exciting stuff, though. And I'm really glad I've got to see you grow and honestly a really good role model for everyone around you. It's been a pleasure and I hope we're still friends for years to come. Love you, buddy. Hey, Jacob. When I first met you, I had really no idea uh, who you were or what you were doing in our room. But as I've gotten to know you throughout the semester, I've come to see that you are just a really solid dude. And it's been a great time getting to know you. All the late nights we stayed up talking and playing video games or going all nerd school and walk, talking about Star Wars or watching the Three Musketeers, Mickey Mouse together. It's, it's been a great time. Jacob, it's been real and it's been fun. You're a super personable guy and I've really enjoyed the semester with you. I've enjoyed the jokes we've had and the memes that were dealt. Very funny, very amusing. Uh, I'm looking forward to see how the future treats you and how you turn out. Good luck. Congratulations, Jacob, on making it this far graduating and doing this well at ST. Um, I know we've all enjoyed having you as a roommate uh, this part of the semester and getting to know you. Um, room meetings and just hanging out and talking, um, making muffins and all kinds of weird things. Um, look forward to seeing what God has in store for you next. Um, and I hope, pa our, uh, I hope our paths cross in Wisconsin. See you soon. All right, Jonathan, you're graduating with your bachelor's degree and you're moving on to the real world. I am very excited for you, and I'm really glad we've got to be friends this whole time. We got to share our softball championship this fall. A very great send-off, I guess. Um, I know you played football four years, and I hope you had a good time with that. Actually, I know you loved that. But for real, bud, it's been really cool knowing you, and uh, I guess we've known each other for a very long time. I don't even know, I don't even know exactly how long it's been, but. We've come a long way since we were those two little boys. I graduate one of these days and we'll have real jobs and families and it's crazy, bud. Congratulations, man. 
Hey Keenan, congrats on graduating, man. I am so excited that you're going on to grad school here. I guess you enjoy torturing yourself. Um, so I was just thinking about the times that we have spent together here, and I was thinking about the amount of classes that I would have failed had you not helped me, and I would not be graduating myself. Levi, there's honestly not a lot I can say. We've been through this whole college journey together from the very beginning. From our time in TJ when you gave your towel to clothe a naked criminal roaming the halls, to our multiple heated arguments about the most pointless things such as, yes, the Parmesan cheese. But through it all, you continue to be my best friend and someone I'm very proud to consider a brother. May God guide you in whatever you do, whatever path you take and always remember what he's done in your life so far. And he's gonna do so many more great things. Hey Libby, congratulations on graduating. We can't believe you did it, especially during this time of COVID. I hope student teaching ended up going well, and I'm really excited to see where your marriage leads you. Maybe it won't lead you all the way to Idaho. I don't know, we'll see. Hey Libby, um, congrats on graduating. Um, I value our friendship so much and just all the time that we've spent together, especially the time we spent watching random TV shows while you're doing my hair. Um, I know that God has some amazing plans for you going forward and I'm so excited to see how that plays out. Although I am incredibly jealous that that's in Idaho with Rachel and not living near me. Hi Libby, congrats on graduating. You made it. You've worked so hard these past four and a half years that you deserve all of your upcoming celebrations. Um, I absolutely love being roommates with you. I love you so much. And I really hope that now that you're not a college student anymore, you just go and live out your dream and get those baby ducks you've always wanted. Hi Libby, I'm so excited you're finally graduating and I'm especially excited that you can come join the Idaho party out here with us. Thanks for always being the best adventure party partner and for always um, encouraging me and making lots of cookies, way too many cookies and lots of Mexican food. I appreciate your support in that. Uh, you just have the most amazing ability to make people uh, smile and I'm so thankful for your friendship. We love you so much. Megan, I can't believe we're graduating. Um, I'm so thankful that we've been friends over the last few years. Um, thankful for all the ways you helped me get plugged in at SNT through SWE and CCF. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed being a small group leader with you and uh, meeting with you every week. And I've thoroughly enjoyed just watching you love others and uh, just be a friend to everyone. So congrats on graduating and I can't wait to see what God has for you next. Hey Peyton, I am so, so glad that I have you in my life. You are joyful and helpful and so passionate about God's word and God's love for us. Um, I really, really miss our Bible reading coffee dates and our Mexican food dates. I can't wait to see what God has in store for your life. Hey Peyton, I'm so happy that we got to spend this past summer together um, as you were interning in St. Louis. I am very thankful for all the opportunities that we had to get to get to know each other and get to grow in our faith through CCF and Zeta. And I cannot wait to see you next. Hey Peyton, I loved being able to lead a small group with you at the Zeta house and get to see a little bit of your world in the at Zeta. Uh, I look forward to seeing what God has in store for you and I just love how bold you are in your faith um, with the Zeta and love on people in CCF. Hey girl, thank you so much for being an encouragement to me these past couple of years and um, just have re meeting up with me to do Bible study and um, I'm super proud of you and I'm praying for you as you continue wa your walk with Chris. And yeah, I just love you. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. So they asked me to make a grad video for your Garrett, so I figured I'd make it as spontaneous and random as I possibly could. So anyway, here it goes. Um, congratulations on Keenan getting a second degree. I, I, I mean, you graduating. Uh, but in all seriousness, just congratulations, man. You finally made it. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better roommate through all my college life. You know, we shared a lot of good memories, a lot of fun room meetings that went off on many beaten paths and a lot of good late night talks. So, man, I really appreciate you. Congratulations. And I'm uh, super excited that you're going to be coming to KC and we can hang out uh, here after you graduate. So, awesome job, man. See you soon. Congrats, Jared, on graduating. It's really cool, man. Really cool. Um, I've always really appreciated you and respect you for just how much you love electrical engineering. Um, you've always inspired me to kind of appreciate my major so much more. 
and you know you're crazy smart and uh, I've always just enjoyed talking to you because you know you're just you're yeah yeah that's what I like to hear yeah I just wanted to say how much I appreciate you and your care for everybody you always are willing to step up and just jump in and help any way you possibly can it's not even that you're willing to you seek out ways to help people and I've always respected that and appreciated that and just also you're just a genius who's I just have to say that because it's a fact <laughs> Congrats, Jared. Really glad to see you graduate, man. Congrats, buddy. You'll do great things. Big Dave. Hello, oh, well, geez. Yeah, baby. I first knew you were about it in our first run. 18 points, 19 rebounds, you had just begun. That's when I knew that your game was rangy. But I had no idea you'd be kicking it with Mangy. Legacy so great, they think it's a fable. I'm just glad things weren't cut short by that picnic table. Things like that make me think about life. Makes me happy, I'll still get to meet your wife. I think a little harder and I'm sad to say. But tomorrow really has turned into today. The thought leaves me in complete dismay. And all I can think now is Dave, don't go away. Big Dave, I know that you're leaving town, but don't forget us when you put on that gown. Turning heads when walking on campus, got girls begging for a wedding ring at the gym though. Two bad girls. He's busy with a kettle thing Don't you worry, he's not being mean He's just staying fresh like Mr. Clean Head KPO, they gave you a spot All those plays, now you're ready to squat Always he's styling your lyrics, they smack Trust me that you'll be the next Terry Mac You looked around Rolla to find you a blonde But don't worry, Big Dave, you're a shark and a pun Yeah, that's right, DZP doesn't play Waking up like one, two, pray Jesus and God are number one as brothers in Christ Keep it that way Yo, my phone's dead Dinner, dinner Way up high, above the sky At the net you just seem to fly, I think I taught you everything you know I just can't help, God made a hobbit without any flow All of these classes we've been in together It's hard to imagine being alone next semester I don't know what I'll do without all your help Reminds me of the pain when I was at Phelps County Hospital When I broke my collarbone Now I'm left dreading when we all go home I can always count on you Every night before I close my eyes Nothing keeping me up at night Passion inside still grows bright My love for you will never end Gibbler got him. Mo's all over it. Legend by mountain bike. Never underestimate an engaged leprechaun with a mountain bike. Jimmy, you need a time of death, man. Seven p.m. Gibbler's bedtime. Such a godly guy. It's such a monster. Can't believe he's engaged. What kind of university would let him graduate? Starting a life. What door is small enough for him to walk through? But generally, just a nice all-around guy. He can't help but Can't believe him. he turned. Oh. I wonder what sparked that just that big change. Celibacy. Nah. Freshman waking him up. I'm sparkling. Am I still sparkling? 
I don't know how to not sparkle. It's just my natural shine. Anyways, um, <laughs> we're going to do uh, words of wisdom. So, and we're going to do kind of this whole final process just a little bit different than we normally do because uh, normally we do a big prayer and everybody huddles around and touches everybody. And so we're probably not going to do that this time. So uh, grads, if you want, can line up spaced out if you want um, or if you don't want. And you can just line up right around here, come do your words of wisdom, and then just go ahead and sit back in your seat. Um, and then I'll come up and, and say something, and then we'll, we'll pray for you guys. And then after that, Jake is going to call you guys back up and just do a picture. And that's pretty much uh, the end of our night. So um, seniors, if you guys want to uh, go ahead and line up over there, whoever wants to go first can rush up here. Um, but beyond that, final kind of announcement, don't forget to sign the graduation cards, uh, the picture frames, and it's not just this year's grads that are there, it's also from last semester too, since we didn't get to do that, and we're going to send those out to everybody, so we'll have a chance to do that. Who's first? Okay, guys, so I prepared a rap. <laughs> not actually. Um, my words of wisdom, uh, not really wisdom, just more like just thanks. Uh, I came in as a transfer student two and a half years ago, and uh, CCF, I got accepted into the house, and CCF has just been like a really great way to meet people, and I just felt welcomed right away, and the past two and a half years have flown by and I met some great friends, um, people that I will stay close with after I leave. And yeah, it's been a blessing and I'm sad to leave, but I'm excited to move on. So thank you. All right, so um, I just got a few things. Um, you know, CCF has been a huge blessing to me. Um, it's just, it's been really cool. Um, so first thing I would say is put God first. You know, no matter what you do, even if you fail college or whatever, you know, put God <laughs> first. <laughs> put God first, like seriously, like when everything can go south and things like that, like that's what matters, like day to day, year to year, like no matter what. If God, if you and God are good, then things are all right. Um, I also say, say yes more than you say no. Okay, so what I mean by that is like, opportunities like design teams things like that like go out and do these things because here at the school I think we have some really cool opportunities to do a lot of fun stuff I made some really cool memories on design teams and stuff like that you know and so it's that's a blast but also you know say yes to spending time with friends too you know like you know studying is good study a lot okay you have to but also say yes to having fun with friends and things like that because I don't remember a lot of my study time or I don't remember it fondly at least Okay, <laughs> but I do remember the times I had with friends, and you know I'll never forget those times. So um, last thing is say yes to serving others too. I think that you know really my best memories are when I was serving other people in Mexico with casas, um, you know, and just different other things like that. Like serving people is when I had the best memories. Just I don't know, there's something about that. And so yeah, that's all I got. I just want to say that CCF has been a really good impact in my life. Being CCF has given me a lot of opportunities I didn't have um, growing up. But if <laughs> my main piece of advice is to remember that it's just as important to have friends and social interaction as it is to get a 4.0, and in some ways, much more important. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so my words of wisdom are, um, I know in this age of COVID, 
it's kind of cliche with these masks, but also don't forget to take off the figurative mask that you have on your life. Um, I know I have that issue, but also I know I'm sure everybody else that is in this place where um, it's very easy to put on this mask of perfection, you got your life together kind of stuff. So um, make sure to pull down that mask for people. Um, and I want to thank for those of you that have been in my life that allowed me to do that. So thank you. So uh, I graduated last semester, but Nathaniel said I could come up and talk anyways. So <laughs> hey, why not? Um, I guess the only thing I would say uh, is that it's never as bad as you think. The test isn't as bad as you think. The horrible group members that you hate aren't as bad as you think. Um, and that uh, we're all really, really blessed, and it's really easy to forget that. And taking time just to remember that God has given you a lot, and um, that he does have a plan for your life. And so even if you do fail that test, that that's not the end of the world, that you can always be thankful. Um, it's just a really important thing to remember. And just like Jack said with serving Casas, remembering that you have a bigger purpose in life besides getting an engineering degree, but serving God and doing that honorably, that's the most important thing. So um, as my mom would always say, just stay the course and don't let anything else um, take you away from serving God. I just want to echo a lot of things that Jack said about um, always being ready to serve and ready to, to love people. Um, and I, I am so thankful for all the people that have done, uh, done that uh, for me. And uh, I mean, I know I transferred in, but I was plugged into the, the family of CCF very quickly. Um, and I, I'm very thankful for that. Um, one of the things that I feel that I've learned, but really it's more just got to peek into and, and, and start is um, the Lord has been challenging me, challenging me to ask myself, how, how am I going to put him first? And how am I going to make sure that people know, like at a job, how, how are they going to make sure that I know that, that I serve the Lord more than um, maybe I'm good at my job or, or, or whatever, anything like that. Um, and and that's that's something I want to encourage all of, all of us in as we move on to, to careers or further in school is that um, we really have to, to fight to keep Christ the center of our lives. And we can usually see when... Um, when it's not the case, <laughs> or or we 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 re, we 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 can it, it can be easy to to think that there's there's a divide, or if I if I just read this book, if I just talked to this person, if I just knew more, then uh, then like then uh, I'd be able to obey what the Lord is saying. Um, but in in those times, I want to encourage us to talk to God first. Ask the Lord, hey, what's going on right now? <laughs> what's your what's what's what your uh, what is what are you saying right now? Um, and then he'll he'll reveal um, what he's saying to us, and then um, and then also in his word show us uh, you know more of who he is. Um, but th that's that's one of the things that I I want to say as far as um, as as keeping keeping Christ the center of, of our lives. And you know it, the, there's the verse seek first the kingdom, and all these things will be added to you. And and even when we have those wants, uh, we'll, we'll desire what he wants even more when we seek him and put him first. Um, my words of advice are, um, well, the way that I did well in school and had a social life was um, I cut back on sleep and I drank a lot of coffee. Um, and I also just learned that molasses is really good in coffee, so. <laughs> so my words of wisdom to all of you younger people out there would be to enjoy the people you have around you while you have them there. Time does go by quickly, so utilize that time wisely. Also, uh, take every opportunity you get 
you know, every opportunity that presents itself to do something new. Some of the best memories I made while at this university were done uh, doing things that I would not have otherwise done if I hadn't been pressured by friends or, or you know, those kinds of things. Uh, joining uh, small groups was one thing. Uh, doing uh, Friday night fellowships was one thing. And joining the men's house at the last semester was another thing. So utilize your opportunities wisely. Hello. I feel like no one introduced themselves. I'm Libby. I haven't been here in a while, obviously. I've been at home student teaching. But my, li my advice for you is just to make sure you make connections with people. Um, the friendships I made in CCF were like the coolest part of college, what gets you through Missouri s and Like imagine doing the classes you took without friends or CCF. I feel like it'd be very hard. Um, but study with your friends, go on adventures with your friends. Um, and I'm just very thankful for CCF for bringing me those people. That's all. Hi, I'm also short. Um, I'm Peyton, and I really hate public speaking, so this is going to be uh, short and sweet to the point. Um, but I just wanted to thank you all and give you the encouragement that your words matter, and your truth matters, and your joy matters. And you guys have been an inspiration to me and the women in Zeta, and sometimes you don't even know it. Um, so just keep speaking your truth um, and keep sharing your joy. Um, Ethan, first of all, uh, don't spill water on your pants right before you come up. You may notice I'm the last person up here. I was letting it dry a little bit before I came up. <laughs> but uh, so in general, I'd say there are a couple types of people. You have people who tend, you know, maybe like speak when they shouldn't, and then people who maybe don't speak enough. Um, and so to both of those people, um, just listen to the Holy Spirit, because there are times maybe when people who speak too much should hold their tongue and not speak. And there are times when people who don't speak often enough just feel the prompting of the Holy Spirit, and just people need to hear something that you need to say. So just be in tune with the Spirit. There's a lot of hurting people on this campus and just need um, the love of God on this campus. So thank you. All right. Thank you, grads. Those were awesome. Those were great words of wisdom. And I uh, wanted to just uh, kind of end off with a little bit of a charge to you grads. It's been kind of a tradition that we, we do that for quite a while now. And um, I did want to say that uh, I'm really, we're just really happy to be able to do this with you guys. And we're really happy to be able to honor uh, you guys as graduates uh, with the graduation banquet. Um, of course, it's not exactly how we always do have done it. Um, we had to opt for a little bit smaller. Um, but hey, can we really quickly give it up for Kaylin and the officer team? Because this is probably the coolest vibe we've ever had. So. I mean, this is like seriously a cool vibe. Maybe it's the Christmas, maybe it's the candles, I don't know, but it's cool, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm really happy to just be able to be here with you guys and honor you as grads. And uh, we just wanna say as CCF that, and as, uh, you know, on behalf of the ministers, that we really appreciate you guys. Um, we love working with you guys. We love getting to know you guys. And uh, really, honestly, we're happy for you, but we're sad to see you guys go. We're always sad to see you guys go. Um, after getting to know you guys for, for a decent amount of time, um, we're sad to see you go. But we're happy for you, and we're really proud of you guys. And so, um, as has become the tradition, uh, my charge to you guys is uh, three things. Um, and as I was thinking of what would be pertinent to charge you guys with, to kind of send you off with, um, I was thinking about really how this last year has kind of been crappy, right? Uh, a lot of things have been canceled. Um, you guys don't even really get probably a graduation like you normally would have. Um, and even just the last semester being weird or semester and a half. Um, but there's also a lot to be thankful for. for. And uh, so my first, my first uh, charge to you guys is to practice thankfulness. Um, I think all throughout scripture, one of the most common themes that we see is we see God's people being thankful regardless of their situation. And the reason I think thankfulness is so important and it's so important to practice and to um, really develop a habit of is because the same level of spiritual depravity can sneak into your life when 
you are in the best of times and you're not being thankful, as well as when you're in the worst of times and you're not being thankful. And I wanted to read a verse for thankfulness. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. And that's really kind of the common theme about thankfulness, is that regardless of whether our lives are the best, regardless of whether, you know, you got the perfect job and you're, you're leaving out of here, you know, just at 100%, or whether, you know, you're not really sure what you're doing. There's a lot to be thankful of, and there's a lot to be thankful for. The Bible teaches us to be thankful in all things, and primarily, you know, our thankfulness is not, uh, is not based in the material. It's not based in what this world has to offer. It's not based in our accomplishments. The reason we can be thankful in all things is because of Christ Jesus, his sacrifice, and the fact that he has given us everlasting life through it and that we can live righteously through him. And so that's why we can be thankful. And so I want to encourage you guys to practice thankfulness. The second thing is to be strong in your faith, to be strong in your faith. Um, James chapter 1, verse 12 says, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. And so again, another theme throughout scripture is that uh, we are to rejoice in hardships. We are to stand fast and stand firm in our faith. And again, kind of on the theme of this year, you know, this, is, this has been kind of a, a, a rough year. And uh, there's many trials, many temptations, many things that are not going our ways, many ways that we could get down. Um, but the Bible is telling us to persevere. And as I was thinking again of, of things that would be good to send you off with, um, one of the things that I was thinking about is, frankly, the, um, the way our culture has uh, been going and the way our government has been kind of going in different areas um, against the church in many ways. And now when I say this, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that we're, you know, the part of the persecuted church. I'm not saying that, you know, we're kind of like, uh, you know, the church in Nigeria or parts of India or anything like that. Um, but what I am saying is that for many of you, your adult lives, um, the way that our society is going, your adult lives as Christians may be very well harder than your parents or your parents' generation. And I think it's good to recognize that. It's good to evaluate that. It's good to know that. And it's good to know that your adult lives may have more pressure that goes against your Christianity, that goes against your faith. And so the reason I say it's good to be strong in your faith is because um, you guys need to be prepared. We need to be prepared for when society or, or anybody else comes up against something that is, uh, goes against our faith, goes against Christ, goes against Scripture, that, 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 that that's going to hit a stone wall in our lives. And so I want to encourage you guys to be strong in your faith and be proactive about that. And then the last thing I want to encourage you guys with is to do good. And that's kind of cliche, but to do good. Um, there's too many Bible verses about doing good things um, in the Bible. Imagine that. Um, but I narrowed it down to a couple. And uh, the first one I wanted to do is Jesus' words. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. It says, Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. And I just want to encourage you guys to remember that just like Jesus said, we are a light in the world. And as many of you echoed in your words of wisdom, when you go out from here, whether it's to uh, a new community of people in grad school or a job or back home or whatever, you are a light to who Jesus is. When people see Christians, they should have a good representation, though imperfect, but a good representation of knowing who Jesus is. And with that, you know, you guys should have the idea that you are going to be a light in your new communities and back with your family, um, in new churches and with your own future families and in your new careers and all of those things. We are to be a light for Christ. And when we have the Holy Spirit inside of us, in a way, we are actually showing Christ to people when we live for him. And so that's a very important thing. And, um, my last verse for that is, and doing good, is Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord, not for men. Um, that's applicable in every area of your life, but I know for a lot of you, what is primarily on your minds right now is uh, the future of your job and, 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 and jumping in and, and trying, to, trying to get a handle on things. And I want to encourage you that whether it was your first pick for a job or whether it was your last pick or only pick for a job, um, or whether it's something that you know you want to be in forever or it's just a, you know, a, a stair-stepper job, work in that job, work in where you're at, and, and do it as if you were doing it for God. You know, it's cliche, but do it as if God was your boss. <laughs>
And so those, that's my charge to you guys. Practice thankfulness, be strong in your faith, and do good. And I just want to say to you guys, I'm really proud of all of you. I'm really proud of uh, the way I have seen you guys as, as a graduation, graduating class um, handle all the tumultuous times of this year. Um, we as a staff are very proud of you guys in different ways that you've stepped up and different ways that you've led, different ways that you've um, continued to do different things and pour into other people around you. And uh, we just want to say that we, we are sad to see you guys go. Um, we are kind of get a unique, uh, a unique insight into your guys' lives for two, three, four, sometimes five years. Um, we see you come in as young, baby, eager freshmen. And then you, you all graduate as mature adults, uh, men and women of God. And that is truly our hope and our prayer as a staff and CCF. Um, that's, that's, that's what we want for you guys. We want you all to be the future leaders in your churches, the future Christian leaders in your communities and, and Christian leaders in your families. And you guys are going to do that. And, and we're so happy for you. And we're sad to see you go, but we're happy for you as you join into your, your next journey. And so thank you guys for spending this amount of time with CCF and, and the time that you've given to us as well. With that, I want to ask uh, Mark and Teresa to come up. Um, again, like I said, we're not going to do the big hover around everybody and, and pray for you all, um, but we are going to pray for you uh, as, as you guys uh, are sitting there. And so, uh, Mark, if you want to come up, come up, we'll have you pray first, and then Teresa, and then I'll close it off. Okay, bow your heads with me. Dear Lord, I just thank you for all the seniors and for the day um, and for this night. We get to be together and celebrate four years, or more or less, of hard work. Um, I just want to thank you that you are constant and ever-changing, and as our lives change, um, you remain constant, and that we can trust you and have faith in you. Um, just to echo everything Nathaniel said, and hope that everyone here uh, hears or something from you that you want them to know and take with them as they uh, go into the next phase of life. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. Father, I come before you tonight, and I just want to lift up each and every one of these graduates to you. And Father, I'm so grateful for this university and for Christian Campus Fellowship and just the opportunities that you've given, a, given us here. And um, I just pray your blessing over the workplaces that these graduates are going to go fill, Lord. I pray that you would that you would give them opportunities to share your love with the people they're working with. I pray for the cities and the churches that they're going to, Lord, that you would bless them where they go. And Father, that you would give them a community where their faith is going to grow and they're going to just grow in love for you and your word. And Father, I pray that each and every one of them would feel encouraged on this walk and that they would never feel like they're alone. They would always hold fast to your word and know that, that you're there and you're with them and you're fighting their battles. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you so much for these graduates. God, we thank you for the many time, uh, timeless hours that they've poured into this community, um, whether it be into CCF or into um, brothers and sisters around them, the times that they have shared their faith, the times that they have worshiped you and served you. And God, we praise you for that. God, we praise you for um, the ability to, um, to have known them and develop great relationships with them. And uh, Lord, we pray that you would bless them, bless them immensely as they move on from here. I pray that um, you would help them settle in well to new jobs. I pray that you would bring them uh, good, good churches with good communities and that you would guide their lives, God. And I pray most of all that wherever you lead each and every graduate here, that they would be attentive to your voice, attentive to your word, and attentive to what your call in their life is. And that no matter where they work or what they're doing, that they would be serving you through that whether it be working as they are working for you or simply being a light to the world or evangelizing, God, I pray that they would be attentive to your spirit and that they would be in your word and that they would know you more. And I pray all of these things in Jesus' name, amen.